What's up guys? So today is hopefully the last day you'll ever have to hear me complain about my GoPro messing up, deleting the footage, that kind of stuff. Um, I know I asked in the last video, I told you how I had a haul ready to go, and if you guys were interested, I would post that. And I got a lot of people saying that they were interested in that, and it is a really good haul. At the end of the video, you'll also see another really good haul that also was not on camera. I'll explain more of that later. But yeah, basically at this sale, um, I was recording, I looked down, I have like 47 minutes worth of footage, but the GoPro is stuck, it's frozen. Um, I gotta turn it off, turn it back on. All the footage is deleted, but at least we have a solid haul to show you. That day is when I ordered a new SD card off of Amazon. It came in, and the previous video that you guys saw where I actually do have footage to show you, that is using the new SD card, and clearly, it is working, um, fingers crossed that that is the problem, but it seems to be, and hopefully you guys will never have to hear me complain about the GoPro messing up again. Thank you guys for being patient and enjoy the haul. All right, let's show a couple of Jamie's gems. This was something that I was after as well. This yeah, thing is boy. nuts. Brand new. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. What is this thing called? It's Department 56 uh, Fez, Fezawig's Ballroom. There, there's a sold for like someone took less than 1200 and then another one that went at auction for 550 plus shipping so that's nuts and then we'll just show we'll show one more thing the little cologne this was something we were both were after as well he ended up getting it for 150 and the solds on this are pretty crazy too so i will pop pictures of those up on the screen uh the other stuff he got some pretty good stuff as well um but yeah that was an awesome sale all right, so as you guys saw in the video, we paid $240. He said $225. I didn't have any change, so I just went with $240 since I had all 20s. And I think that is a phenomenal number for what we got. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So these were something... So what what I did is I went through the sale and I picked out like the obvious, the, the good stuff. And then I went back through and I was more thorough with my search. These were something that were left on the shelf. And I looked these up, and to my surprise, these are actually really valuable stuff. What's up, Olive? And then we got... So so this is one of them that I looked up, and I was just uh, amazed. Use these things are selling for like $80, these metal reel-to-reel, -reel, like uptake reels. And this thing looks new old stock. Like there is, there is not a single scratch on this thing. It's still in the plastic, got that thing on it. So yeah, that that's phenomenal. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like $100. So... We will see. And then Teak, they had a Teak reel to reel. If you guys don't know, those things are worth a lot of money. But this is just the uptake reel for it. Um, I did Once I found that, I didn't even look this one up. So I'm curious to see what that's actually worth. Um, this does look used, but that should still be good. And then just a, a blank reel like with tape on it. This is a recording reel. I believe that is just an uptake one. So these are different, but new sealed. I don't know. I'm sure that's not much, but it's still something. And then these 3D glasses, I have sold these things before, but they were used. And when they're used, they're only really worth uh, listing in lots. Um, but these are all brand new sealed. So I was confident paying $5 on these because a quick scan showed that these were selling in new condition for around $20 free shipping. So either way, uh, I will be making money. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be lotting these up, like maybe two, sell them for like $35 free shipping, or if I'm going to just go the route with, um, you know, $20 free shipping times eight. So we will see. And then these calculators, I always like picking these up. This is really good condition. As you can see, it's working. There's not corrosion in the, in the, um, battery compartment or anything like that. Um, there are models of this that can go for like stupid money, like $300 or something like that. I don't think this is that model. So either way, I think that's around 35 bucks. I've sold it before. This Sanyo Exacti, I paid $6 for this, and actually, I haven't even opened this up. So, let's see. Fingers crossed that it's like new old stock or something. That would be awesome, right? Looking like it's new old stock. Wow. That's awesome. So, yeah, I mean, new old stock on that, that's, that's pretty awesome. Used, I think this was like a $50 item. I'm curious what that's going to go for now. All right. Um, and then they did have a lot of, like, they had a ton of garments. It seemed like every room I walked into, I was running into new garments. Majority of those are not worth picking up. 
but I did see this. I believe it's a satellite. As of as of the time of recording this, I haven't looked this up. But some of these satellites I know can go for crazy money, if that is what that is. But once again, it looks to be new old stock, never used. And this, I'm not even sure what that is. But that is brand new sealed. So yeah, super curious what that's going to go for. Here is the model number right on the back. So yeah, that's cool. Lenses, uh, Mamaya Secor. That's a really good brand. So that's an easy $50 right there. This was in the garage. No power cord or anything like that. Just the Dymo label writer. But for $3, I'll pick up a Dymo anytime. So that'll be cool. I don't think this model is anything crazy. This thing is brand new open box. This keyboard set. I scanned it. And I think that's like $70 to $80 plus shipping. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's still got the plastic tab on it. Still got the plastic on the back batteries are sealed so that was pretty cool lots of easy stuff at this sale this con air uh trimmer we paid ten dollars on that uh new old stock like this new old stock stuff like this always seems to do well for me uh jabra these headphones i have sold this brand before it seems like a high-end a headphone brand and once again this looks to be new old stock i don't see any in the new condition listed or sold of this model um so for twenty dollars that should do pretty well we have a brand new sealed fire stick so fifteen dollars on that i think that's an easy 50 right there so pretty cool Another uh, item that's kind of up in the air, this LLB and emergency radio. Haven't looked it up yet. Uh, oh, I didn't see it was 15. That's, that might be kind of high, but we'll see. This Asus Ethernet switch, um, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but when I look it up, I don't see a ton of these sold, and then I don't see any in the new condition that I've sold. There is one listed for $125. Um, so for $20, I don't know. I'll take that gamble. We'll see what happens with that. Um, the majority of cars like this aren't going to be worth listing on their own, but this is something I've never seen before. I have seen muscle machines, but never the muscle tuners. I've seen similar ones like this go for $20. So, I mean, for 5 bucks, that's an easy listing right there. I don't see any listed or sold of that exact one. This Timex heart rate monitor, paid $5 on it. Didn't even look it up. You can see at one point it was $90. Um... It looks to be new old stock, but I'm going to have to dig deeper. I haven't opened it up, um, but for five bucks, that should be pretty good. You guys saw Jamie at the beginning of the video bought a ton of this Department 56 stuff. Um, he grabbed that really expensive one and then looked a couple up and then just went on to buy other stuff. And then once I was done, this was the last thing that I ended up looking up was this stuff. And uh, I did find some gems in there. So we paid $25 on this one. And I believe this is like $125 plus shipping one. I opened it up. It is still uh, taped in there. I can, I can open it up for you guys. But... Uh, yeah, I, pu I pulled it out of there, and you can see the tape down the side. That wraps all the way around, so it has never been out of the box. So that's a heck of a find right there. And then this one was 12 bucks, I believe it's used, um, but still, I think that's around $60. Ton of Sirius XM stuff. Told you guys about it multiple times. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. This one looks to be new open box. Uh, still got like the plastic coverings on this stuff and then all the accessories in the in the back So $22 that should be pretty good This thing's new sealed as well um, I'm just really curious why they needed so many of this stuff five bucks on that um, This thing is new sealed It's power connect vehicle kit. Um, I was just kind of grabbing um, But I have I'm confident about these grabs because I've sold this stuff before here is, I believe that's a satellite to the Sirius XM. Two bucks. I don't think these are anything crazy, these are little accessories, but they are something, maybe 20 bucks free shipping. And then this was kind of a, I mean, I always tell myself I'm going to check the boxes, but then I don't. Um, so I bought this thinking that this was going to be in there. Um, that thing is pretty good. I believe I've sold it before, if I could get this open. But everything else... Looks to be new sealed in there, which is weird. So I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I think I can make my money back and then some just on the accessories. Like there's a big satellite. I think piecing this out, I might even make more than what I would have um, selling the whole thing together. So we'll see. Um, I'm curious, curious on that. 
And then this stuff right here, this is another dock. I didn't even look this stuff up. Um, but yeah, once again, another satellite, a remote. Um, this is a whole, whole nother unit right here. So that unit alone might be worth something, uh, a pretty good amount, uh, an edge. And then, yeah, it's got the power cord, the original box for the, for the base. So yeah, this was an awesome sale. All right, this next clip you're about to see is like a two or three minute haul video. This was a video that I sent to Jamie. Um, this place I didn't record at. This was during the time that my GoPro was messing up. And also, this was going to be like a weekly thing. This guy advertised that this sale was going to go on every weekend. And I didn't want to record this and blow up my spot, you know, let everybody know about it. Um, so I was going to keep this on the down low, but it only happened one weekend. But we did get a, an absolutely awesome uh, haul from it. And this stuff was all new. This was really cool. This was like a lab clean out. And it, they had a whole ton of stuff, just stuff that I never saw before, like a ton of beaker scientific stuff. And then the stuff that I picked up, kind of that kind of vibe. Just a fair warning, I realized that I am kind of rapid firing through it because this was sent to Jamie and I didn't want to send him like a five minute video like the kind that I would record for YouTube because I wasn't planning on posting this, but I just thought that you guys would enjoy seeing like some, some weird items that you don't normally see people picking up. So I appreciate you guys and enjoy. All right, so we paid $180 total for everything. Um, he did have some stuff marked. A lot of the stuff was just kind of like, hey, five bucks, five bucks, I'll throw this in, that kind of stuff. Paid $25 a piece on these, and I actually saw these in the picture, and I knew that that was gonna be worth the while, as long as they were priced right. Those each are like 150 to 200 plus shipping a piece right there. And then this one's like 150 to 200. So I guess, yeah, all those are like 150 to 200 plus shipping a piece. Um, this Fordham motor, I see other models selling for around the 100 to 150 plus shipping. None of this exact model. So we'll see. <sighs> These little input controls, I think they're the same thing. Those are like 35 to 40 plus shipping a piece. This little motor pipette aid is like 20 plus shipping pedals are around 20 plus shipping this thing is really cool this stro strobotic it's got like a really cool case to it and i saw this model sold for like 260 free shipping um so that is awesome and then this logitech keyboard with the cradle that's like 80 dollars plus shipping if i can test it and get it working um these i'm not even going to try to pronounce that each of these gauges is like 30 to 40 plus shipping um i'm just gonna have to figure out a way this one will be real easy just to unscrew that um hopefully the same for these but i don't know and then this is for you a little polaroid business edition too i've never seen that one but it's cool that it has the box and stuff this thing there's only one listed for like 150 plus shipping none sold but i figured i'd go ahead and grab that these things are a complete air ball, um, none listed, none sold. Uh, when I look them up on other sites, they're selling for, um, or at least they have sold in the past for like 350, 300. Um, so we paid $25 a piece on those. And uh, that'll just be cool to see how something sells that has no listings or solds. So we will see. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, just two solid hauls that I thought were too good to delete. Um, so let me know what you thought about this in the comments. I really appreciate you guys and you have a great day. Bye.